Hey, this is Dante with The Verge. We're taking a look at Google Drive, which uh, was just released today, the new cloud storage platform. It has five gigabytes of free space for everybody, and uh, you could pay more and get up to 16 terabytes. Uh, if we look at the uh, web app here, you'll notice at first that it's very similar to Google Docs, and this really does replace Google Docs. If you go to docs.google.com, it doesn't exist anymore. As long as you upgrade to Drive, you're just going to have Drive. Um, what we see here is, you know, all of our files. Now you can upload everything, not just work documents. Uh, and if you choose to open up something, it's going to open up in a new tab. Uh, and if we go back to Drive, uh, you can see in the interface here, we can upload uh, files or folders from our desktop, anything we want. Uh, and when you do, it's pretty quick, uh, and you get this little notification down here. Uh, the sharing features in Google Drive are pretty much identical to Google Docs. Uh, if we go in here, we can right-click a file and uh, tell it to share. And you'll, if you ever use Google Docs, you'll recognize this screen. Additionally, uh, Drive is uh, very search-focused. Uh, you can search all your files. And Google's saying that if you search for images, it can use its image recognition technology and uh, bring up files. Like if you have a picture of the Eiffel Tower, Tower you can search for Eiffel Tower and you will get that to pop up. And there's also OCR for PDFs. So if I search here for uh, Snowflake, it'll pop up this result in this PDF, which you found, um, which is pretty great. In addition to the uh, web app, there's also a native client for the PC and Mac. And it's uh, very similar to Dropbox if you've ever used that. And if you open it up, you, uh, you get this folder view and finder that's uh, pretty much identical to Dropbox. Uh, and the one really disappointing thing for us is that Google Docs uh, files have to open up in the web browser. There's no way to open it in pages or uh, text edit. You know, even if I go here and go to open with, this is really just a web shortcut. Uh, so if I open up this file, you'll see it kicks me out to Chrome. And, um, you know, so there's no way to try to, it just sort of a strange disconnect between uh, desktop and web. One of the other complaints we have with this native app is that you can't switch accounts at all. You know, on the uh, web app, it's pretty easy to switch in the top right corner. But from here, you'd have to sign out and completely delete your uh, Google Drive folder or make a new one if you want to switch accounts, which can be problematic if you have like a work one and one for personal use. There aren't too many options in the uh, native app, but if we go up here, we can see that uh, we can turn on selective sync for folders. Just like for the web app, uh, Google Docs has been completely replaced by uh, Google Drive. You'll see that at the top we have account switching and a uh, very simple in interface that will look familiar to anyone who's used Docs. If we go into the top here, uh, we just have a list of all the files. And if we go to the right, we can share or make uh, files av available offline. And um, there's also a search, uh, so we can look through images like before and OCR and PDF documents. And uh, lastly, uh, there's an option here to uh, upload files from your SD card on your phone um, or make a new document, just like in the old Docs app. Google Drive is available now for uh, Mac, PC, and Android tablets and phones, and it will be available on iOS pretty soon.